everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and welcome to a very special edition of Salty Sunday. I started posting videos of my saltwater tank in January of this year, and they ran for about four months. And I had a blast. I was showing you my dog face puffer, which was like my puppy dog. Um, we had dragon wrasse, clownfish, damsels that were breeding, fox face, um, Niger trigger. Love these guys. Love watching this tank, cleaning this tank, learning about salt, salt water. And then my dog face puffer got sick and I didn't know what to do. So I reached out to the fish fam and I got some great, great suggestions, which I tried everything. Um, I went to my local fish store. They gave me some stuff to try. And then one day he was looking very bad. And when I came home from work, he had passed and I was devastated. I was absolutely devastated. You know, not only the sadness, and I know it's a fish, but it was my pet. The sadness that was there, the guilt that was there, that this little creature was, was in my care. And I started doubting myself. I tried to work past that. And within the next day, and I don't know if something happens when puffers pass, but the next day, my damsels died. My clownfish died. Um, I, I ran to my local fish store, but before you know it, almost the whole tank had passed. I have one survivor, the hogfish wrasse, also known as the coral wrasse, which I am amazed that he survived. I also had a clownfish that was getting picked on by the other clownfish, so I had moved over to my nano coral reef tank. And so he was a survivor, but all our other fish passed. And I'm gonna click some links, because it was a beautiful tank. I loved it. So I didn't stop what I stopped is videotaping it. I had this horrible feeling in my gut that I was just, I, I'm sure it was self-induced, but <laughs> I stopped videotaping it. So I want to show you what my saltwater tank looks like now. We still have the hog grass and we got a Picasso trigger, a cute little guy that loves clams on a half shell and our clownfish. So I have yet to add any other fish to the tank but let me show you what my saltwater tank looks like today. So there's the clownfish, very happy and healthy. Here's our survivor, this coral wrasse. And he is just amazing. And where is our Picasso trigger? We also have some turbo snails, there he is. This guy is absolutely stunning. He's a very slow grower. He's a little guy, but he's tough. Don't let his size fool you. He's tough, man. And when I drop that clam on a half shell in there, he goes after it. And nobody else gets any until he's done had his fill. So this is my saltwater tank today. At first, I was thought I was going to give up. I had talked myself out of it. Don't give up. And I don't know what happened. I don't know what the dog face puffer died from. And I don't know if something happened when he died, if it, there was poisons released or if whatever he had, it was very fast acting, acting after that. And I don't talk about it enough because it's a very sore subject, but I, I could watch this tank for hours and you can see that there's some empty shells in there. We got some turbo snails in there. There's one there that do an amazing job at the cleanup. Um, I still have my nano reef tank. That's, I struggle with the algae all the time. It's, it has the Watchman Gobi and his pistol shrimp sidekick. They are adorable. And my corals are not doing so good. I have one or two that do amazing. Um, probably because they're the easy ones that in the reef community, they might call them weeds. <laughs> they do very good on my tank. 
Um, and there's no lighting in that room, so it wouldn't. Maybe I'll start the Salty Sunday series again. Um, but I know for a while there, I was heartbroken. And I know I'm a big wuss and it's just a fish. But it was my whole tank. And it, I feel like it was my fault. Not my fault, but I, if I was more knowledgeable, maybe I could have done something about it. But then I've seen some other YouTubers that have been in the hobby for a very long time, keeping salt water for a long time, that similar things have happened with them. So that kind of snapped me out of my, oh, poor me, kind of. <laughs> and I do get so much pleasure out of it, so I wanted to share this with you. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for checking it out. Maybe I'll start up my saltwater series again. See you next time, guys.